Around the world, shifting climactic conditions are influencing the emergence and spread of disease. In Bangladesh, temperatures are expected to rise by 1.4 degrees Celsius by 2050. And between 2040 and 2059, annual rainfall may increase as much as 74 millimeters. What would these climactic conditions imply for the health and well-being of the Bangladeshi people? Using data collected from 15,000 people in 3,600 households over the monsoon and dry seasons, the World Bank's new Climate Afflictions Report provides evidence that links climate change with human health. Here's what we learned from the survey. When compared to the dry season, incidence of infectious diseases is higher during monsoon, when people are 26% more likely to become ill. Respiratory illnesses increase with rising temperature and humidity. For a one degree Celsius increase in temperature, people are more likely to suffer from a respiratory problem by 9.3%. And for a 1% increase in humidity, the probability of a respiratory infection increases by 12.5%. Weather causes mood swings too. More cases of depression are reported in the colder, dry season, while anxiety increases during monsoon. In 2019, Dhaka City witnessed one of the highest dengue-related death rates, accounting for 77% of total recorded dengue-related deaths in the country. That year, Dhaka City experienced more than three times the average rainfall for February. This was followed by unusually high temperatures and humidity between March and July, creating ideal conditions for mosquito breeding. Bangladesh has already seen a half degree increase in mean temperature between 1980 and 2019. Summers are becoming hotter and so are winters. And the monsoon has extended from February to October with rainfall increasing in the months of September and October. With climate change projected to intensify, its harmful effects on physical and mental health are likely to escalate. Bangladesh needs to be better prepared for it. It's time to improve data collection, strengthen the health system, and prioritize the mental health response. The time for action is now. <laughs>